Back here on 10 Tampa Bay, you are taking a live look out at Clearwater Beach. Man, just gorgeous out there. And we are used to seeing dolphins out in the water, manatees out at the beach. But a different animal is starting to pop up around the Sunshine State. Mm -hmm. FWC says Florida crocodiles, they are making a comeback. Yeah, recently, there have been sightings in Sanibel. And then uh, just two weeks ago, an eight-foot crocodile was spotted in Brevard County. So right now, FWC estimates that the number of crocodiles across Florida have increased to as many as 2,000 adult crocodiles. As for sightings here in our area, there was one spotted in Manatee County last year. And since last year, there have been three sightings in Pinellas County. Now, if you're wondering what the difference is between a crocodile and an alligator, here's what you need to look for. Alligators, or crocodiles rather, usually have, have a grayish green color. The young ones are light with dark stripes. They also have a narrow tapered snout and a fourth tooth, if you're gonna get that close, <laughs> can be seen when its mouth is closed. Alligators are almost black in color. They have that broad, rounded snout. And we say that they're making a comeback because American crocodiles uh, are recovering threatened species that are native to South Florida and the Keys. So getting all the way up to Brevard County, that's really far north. Yeah, and uh, just like alligators, FWC says, if you see a crocodile, go the other way. Leave them alone. They also suggest, obviously, swim during daylight hours in areas where swimming is allowed. Mm -mm -mm. Never feed an alligator or no, a crocodile, it rather. It is illegal. It can become, um, they can become nuisances, obviously, if you feed them, and then more likely to come around people. And then one says, see you later, one sees you after. Oh, uh, mm. Thanks.